Uh, good morning and welcome to Zion Dew. My name is Pastor Ian Okwad. Uh, today I want us to speak just very briefly about fasting. I've been talking about prayer, but now I want to uh, add on it fasting and uh, we want to look at it from Matthew chapter 6, uh, from verse 16. Jesus talked about fasting. In the same way, he talked about prayer, he talked about giving. He also talked about fasting. I remember reading a book called Fasting, the Neglected Discipline. We should not neglect fasting as Christians. So he says from verse 16, Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites, of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head, and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So Jesus is uh, speaking to his disciples and teaching about fasting. And he's telling them the right way or the correct way to fast. Because just like uh, prayer, in the book of James, the Bible says that you pray and you receive not because you pray amiss. Even when it comes to fasting, you can fast in vain. It becomes a sort of a hunger strike because the fast is not accepted before the Lord. If you read Isaiah 58, um, there's a complaint there. The Israelites are complaining against God. They are saying, how come we have fasted and you have not seen it? It's like you're not responding to us even when we are fasting. And Jesus here is teaching his disciples how to fast. He says, when you fast, Make sure that you have uh, dressed well. Make sure that you have used your lotions. Uh, you are smart. Um, if, if you're a lady, make sure that your hair is, is done well. If you're a man, you have combed your hair. And, you know, uh, that's a, the acceptable way of fasting because it's not for public show. I had a friend of mine um, who met somebody one day uh, his friend and he tried to greet him and the man did not respond. He greeted him a second time, the man did not respond. The third time and he was asking him, what is the problem? And the man said, are you not aware that I'm fasting? You know, with a very sad face. And that is what Jesus was saying. We should not do that. We should not, we are, we are not fasting for men. We don't want to make it a public Sure, but that fasting, when it is done in a way that is acceptable before the Lord, it brings results. Um, of course, if you read um, Matthew, I'm trying to get the scripture, but the Lord said that um, the disciples were trying to cast out a demon and the demon could not go out and they asked jesus how come why were we not able uh, to cast this out i think it's matthew chapter 17 and jesus told them this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting so praying is good praying is important and prayer should be priority. But there are some situations uh, which will not move in your life until you add fasting to your prayer. Of course, uh, we have seen people in the Bible fasting during the time when they are repenting their sins or during the time when they are surrounded by their enemies and the situation is so grim, there seems to be no way out. And we also pass through such situations. And 
we can uh, decide to go on a fast it's it, it's it, it's part of uh, the process of seeking the lord denying ourselves uh you know and it's not just food you know there are some people who fast food years there are some others who are addicted to the electronic devices so putting those things away for three days is actually a serious fast for them there are some people who are addicted to power to to television and just being away from that television uh, for some time is a fast for them but you know and during that time of fasting we are disconnecting ourselves from the earth so that we can connect ourselves uh, to heaven we want to concentrate we want to have that a uh, time of intimacy uh, with the lord and from time to time the lord calls us uh, to the place of, of of fasting so i want to encourage you as a christian i know that uh, churches have their seasons of fasting and prayer but the lord can even call you as an individual to fast concerning a particular uh, situation or you can even decide yourself that i want i'm setting apart um this one day or these two days or these three days or it can even be um 21 days some people fast for 40 days of course under the guidance of your spiritual leader your pastor or a mature christian they can be able to help you so that again you don't do uh, a wrong kind of fasting that will affect your health uh, negatively but fasting is important and listen to what jesus said he said when you're fasting do it secretly and god will reward you openly there are rewards that are reserved for the people who fast <clears throat> so it's important that you enroll yourself into uh, a, a fast a lifestyle of fasting just the way I encourage you to uh, uh, have a lifestyle of prayer you should also have a lifestyle of fasting and it is going to add value to your spiritual experience is going to take you places uh, the Lord Jesus Christ fasted the disciples fasted we have seen Christians throughout the ages fasting and even now the Lord expects us to fast I want you to try it and see what is going to happen in your life you come out uh, with the beautiful experiences and um, uh, you'll be giving glory to God because of what you have done if you want to grow as a Christian to grow deeper in the Lord you know uh, to get into realms um, that, are, that are above what is average you have to employ um, a, a lifestyle of fasting but of course if you have never done it before make sure that you have fellowship with a mature brother mature sister in the lord to help you either you can fast together or they can give you instructions that will help you to fast again in the right way the lord bless you father thank you uh, for my listeners i pray that you help us lord i know fasting is not easy it's hard it's difficult but lord i pray that you help us from today uh, to set our minds and to purpose in our hearts that we shall be men and women who also uh, from time to time uh, take to fasting so that we can seek the face of the Most High God. Thank you, Father. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.